Hey, what's going on, the friends? My name is Enchanted Games, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play of Mario Party for the Nintendo 64. Yes, the very first Mario Party game. It's great, but as soon as we get into the game, you're gonna see very quickly that there's a lot of problems with this. And uh, okay, uh, before I begin, uh, you can go to the item. You can go to the mushroom shop to buy some items, some cool items. Um, that, you, that you can uh, fool around with, and actually, and you can actually use the items that you purchase from the shop in here in the in the mushroom bank. Uh, it keeps track of your coins and stars. Um, as you can see, I have stuff on here already uh, because um, I had to play through this game to unlock all the boards, so I can so I can show you all the boards, and that's what we're gonna be doing for this for this playthrough. Is I'm gonna be showing off all the boards. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys some of the items that uh, that I have. So as you can see. Um, I, these are basically all the items that I'm going to be using throughout this playthrough. Uh, I'm actually going to, uh, use the lucky box for, uh, instead, instead of casino box. Uh, this is, this is actually really helpful. This casino box is really helpful if this is your first time playing the game. 
Um, so, but, be but because I've already beaten this game, uh, that's actually going to be very useless. Alright, so we're going to be using the warp block, vent block, which is hidden blocks. Uh, and then we're going to be using these blocks as well. So I'll explain what every one of these blocks do uh, as we get into the, as we get into the game. So uh, now, now that that's over, let's let us depart for adventure. If this is your first time playing a Mario Party game, uh, I would recommend you hear the game rules so you know the basics of, the basics of a Mario Party game. So let's do it. Okay, it's the warp pipe. Here we go. All right. Must answer a few questions, so uh, I'm gonna be playing by myself as of right now. Uh, just like what I did for Mario Party DS, uh, every other uh, board there's gonna be a guest commentator. Uh, so for right now, for this very first board, I'm gonna be playing. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this solo. All right. So normally in a Mario Party game, I would play as Mario, but too bad I'm playing as Yoshi. Suckers. Okay. Let's see. Let's have Mario. We're we'll definitely have Mario out. The DK. And I guess we have Mario, because why not? Alright, and uh, let's see. I know you guys like to, like to see my butt get kicked, so I'm going to set these guys on hard mode. Of course, I had that fun, I had that fun time in uh, freaking Mario Party DS already. Alright, so the first sport is supposed to be Mario's Rainbow Castle. I don't know why the default is DK's Jungle Adventure, but... Uh, uh, we're gonna play on Mario's Rainbow Castle. Use your, use your star power to create a beautiful rainbow. Oh my god! Okay. Alright, so we're gonna play on this first board. Uh, so for every board, every board, every character has, like a, has a special board. And I'm gonna use, every, I'm gonna have every character for their own, for their own respective board. So, okay. Alright, so in this game you can only have the option between 20, 30, or 50. I'm gonna play on 20 turns. So we're going to be having a fun time. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, welcome to Mario's Rainbow Castle. As you can see, this, it shows a little overview of what the board looks like. It looks pretty nice, I love to say. And here's us. All right, here's our and here's our host of, of every board, Koopa Troopa, and then we and then and as you see, the game goes straight into it. Like the game doesn't even tell you like what the objective of the board is. It just goes straight into the game. You gotta roll. You gotta roll to see who goes first. Okay, highest number always goes first. So in this case, Mario goes first. I'm second. Mario third, and fo and fourth is DK. And there is the star. The star is always going to be up there. So what we get, so what we have to do in this board is we have to go all the way around uh, the whole board to actually get to that to actually get there. Uh, now that star space can also be Bowser. Every board is always going to be Toad and Bowser. There's, gonna, there's always going to be a spot where there's where uh, there's going to be a Toad or Bowser. Uh, in this case, as of right now, for this board, uh, Toad is, um, is on the top of the castle as of right now. Alright, so what I did when I paused the game is I changed the settings, uh, just, just, uh, one because, one, just to speed up the turns, uh, just a slightly bit, and the other is in case something happens with the recording that I have to reset the turn or something like that. Alright, so here are the mini games. First, we have the first one being Treasure Diver Divers. This is a coin mini game right off the bat. So what we gotta do here is we gotta dive uh, down to get the chest. The bigger chest will always contain more coins, and you also have to avoid getting hit by the enemies. Oh my god, I was close. Um, and if you get hit by the enemies, you will drop you will drop the chest, and then you have to go get it back again. Now be careful. You don't want to take too long in grabbing the chest. You don't want to take too long grabbing the chest, otherwise you will. Otherwise, uh, you have a limit on how long you can be in the water. And if you take too long, you'll drown, and and then you'll pretty much drop the chest, and you have to descend back up. Well, you have to ascend back up, and that's basically how how uh, this mini game works. So, however many coins you get throughout the mini game, that's how many coins you are going to get at the end of the mini game. So, in this case, I think I got quite a lot of coins. I will have to say, 16. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Now, for this game, you want to try to get as much coins as possible, win as much mini, win as much mini games as possible, as well as land on as 
much green spaces as possible. Green spaces are half these spaces. Blue spaces give you three coins. Red spaces makes you lose three coins. And then we have those mushroom spaces as well as the star spaces, which well, I'll go into as soon as somebody lands on it. So, um, as well as um, what you as well as uh, what you saw, what I showed on the in the item shop, that's what's going to appear in the game occasionally, just so I can just so the just so the game is a little more based on luck rather than skill, uh, just to make just to make things a little more interesting. All right, tipsy turny. Okay, this mini game is actually pretty simple. All you gotta do is pretty much use the shell, got uh, to um, uh, fill up this uh, to fill up this whole board. It's actually a pretty simple one, and I messed up. Okay, what I usually like to do is um, I like to uh, fill up the outsides first, and then go for the middle one, and then go for the middle part. I think I got it. Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, I like to fill up the outsides. Some people like to fill up the middle part first, and then the outsides, which um, I which I would imagine would be easier. But I've always done it like that. All right, so um, there is so there is uh, an ultimate path. You go the other way, uh, which I will show. Uh, there is a Boo over there. Uh, so what Boo can do is, if you approach him, you can eat. You um, he is pretty much gonna be your friend uh, throughout the uh, throughout this game. That is a warp block right there. What that? Do oh my god! So if you get so that's a warp block. And by and when you get a warp block, you switch with a random player. And so in this case, Mario switched places with me. That would really suck. Uh, what DK just got was a, is a blue dice block called a speed block. However many, whatever you roll, that's how many coins you're gonna get from the speed block, right? Uh, just like that. All right, so this is Crazy Cutters. Crazy Cutters is a really nice mini game. Uh, this is actually probably the easiest mini game in the game in the game because as long as your uh, as long as you outline just enough so then so then um, the enemy can come out of the picture, then you pretty much won. In um, in in other games, there's uh, a bit there's, they they made it harder so that, so that way whoever has the most points is the winner. I think there's actually a certain like requirement of how many points you can get. Uh, you can get before, uh, uh, before you lose. Now, if you trace anywhere inside or anywhere outside of the lines, then you will then you get a you will get a really low score just from doing that. So pretty much right there, everybody is won. I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody lose that mini game. That mini game is really easy. I don't know if they I don't know if it was if they intended to make the game that easy to make. Crazy cut is that easy, but I don't know. And I'm rolling really low numbers. Oh my god! At least I'm getting a lot of coins as of so far. So I'm winning a ton of mini games as of right now. So this is so th so these star spaces are one player mini game spaces. You get to you get to play a one player mini game. So we're gonna watch Mario play Knock Block Tower. All right. So basically. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Punch the blocks. You don't want to punch the blocks, otherwise you get pushed back out, and then you and then you pretty much die and lose like that. And then as soon and then as soon as you um, hit all the blocks, to, um, and when it's just the blocks, just jump to the chest. You don't have to punch the. Don't try to punch the chest open, otherwise you're gonna punch the blocks and then you lose just like that. So just be careful about that. Okay, and it looks like DK is gonna play another one-player minigame. So these turns are gonna go by pretty, pretty long because people are gonna be landing on, on a ton of these. These, these could potentially help you towards uh, towards your minigame coins because you want to get as much coins for minigames as possible. All right, teetering towers. So this is a ba this is a platforming right here. Basically, you just gotta wait till. Uh, you gotta wait till the platforms uh, tilt over to the next platform that you that you want to go to. However, the problem with that is the controls are really terrible. The controls are really terrible. So what can happen is, uh, well, you don't want to jump from the middle from the middle part of the platform, otherwise you might not make it. So you'd have to go to like the very edge of the platform to actually make it, which is really terrible. 
because uh, this game, this game's physics and what some of the mini games are, is just that uh, just outright awful. It's only the first Mario Party game, so what else would you expect? Oh my God! Okay, paddle battle. So this mini game really is basically just a war. So what you want to do is you want to pu push your opponent to uh, the uh, to the edge to the other side, so that way you can lose some coins. Okay, my hand hurts. <laughs> God. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Give me my coins back! <sighs> Ooh, okay. And and in case you haven't guessed it, yes, you do have to spin your control stick around. It's a fight. It's a fight. And it sucks. And so basically, uh, Wario just lost a bunch of coins um, <laughs> during Paddle Battle. And yes, you can lose coins for losing minigames. Uh, which is going to be what most 1v3 games are going to be about. So what, I just, so what I just rolled right there is a slow block. Uh, slow block allow, uh, lets, um, lets you roll from 1 to 3. Which is pretty bad luck. And so, so what Mario la uh, landed on there is a happening space. Uh, ra happening spaces have a have have cer have certain effects. Every green space is not always the same. But for this board, all the green spaces turn uh, Toad in it tur turns the tower. So then Toad is, Toad is now Bowser, and, and or and then if someone lands on another happening space, then it's Bowser to Toad. Or if somebody reaches Bowser, then, then or if somebody reaches the, the top of the tower, then it'll switch as well. All right, so this is Bash and Cash. This is probably, in my opinion, the worst mini game in the whole in, in the game, or pretty much the worst mini game ever out of the entire Mario Party series. Because look at this, you're going against you're going against uh you're going against Mario, and Mario literally has no chance of escaping right here. Mario just basically just loses all of his coins in and. and if you if you don't know how to avoid very if you don't know how to dodge very well, you could lose a lot of coins. That's why th that's why this mini game is very very mean. This game this I think in my opinion this game itself is pretty mean, and I did not gain anything. Wow, wow, Donkey Kong gain was the only one to gain coins. Wow, what a greedy monster. Oh my god, he could potentially beat me now. I don't want that happening. Oh, and it looks like, um... Toad, it, it looks like Toad's back up. Also, one thing to know in a Mario Party game is that Bowser is always gonna be... Your, is always gonna be your worst nightmare in this game. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say, I'll, I'll just say that right now. Looks like Mario is gonna land on another happening space, and so now it's Bowser again. Well, that's un that's rather unfortunate. And DK got a sl got a minus block, which is the which is the opposite effect of a plus block, where if you where however many you roll, uh, that's how many coins you lose. All right, Mario Bandstand. I actually really like this game. So what this is, is, um, it's rhythm, and it looks like I'm the conductor. So, being the conductor is actually pretty simple. All you gotta do is pretty much follow, uh, your, follow the stuff that, okay, up, right. This type of game, I need to focus, so I'm gonna be pretty quiet. Like somebody messed up. Did I get it? Come on. What? Uh oh, I deserve all the credit right there. Oh well. Wait, really? Everybody won that? What? I, I heard somebody messed up.